A presidential aspirant and national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, says without him, President Muhammadu Buhari would not have become president in 2015. Tinubu spoke at the presidential lodge in Abeokuta, the state capital, while addressing the APC delegates ahead of the party's primary. The national leader was accompanied to Ogun by the Lagos state governor, Babajide Sanwolu, his Kano state counterpart, Umar Ganduje, and former Borno state governor, Kasim Shatima. Meanwhile, an aide to former President Goodluck Jonathan, Reno Omokri, has told the national leader of the All Progressives Congress and a frontline aspirant on the platform of the party, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, not to complain about the decision of President Muhammadu Buhari to pick his successor. Buhari had earlier in the week appealed to governors elected on the platform of the APC to allow him pick his successor. Omokri, writing on his Twitter handle, said, Tinubu, a former two-term governor of Lagos State, should not complain about President Buhari's request. He tweeted on Thursday, It is wrong for Buhari to single-handedly pick the presidential candidate of the APC, but Tinubu has no moral grounds to complain about that. Ojegba. Adi jodo e ti debe mi o gba minister mi o gba contract mi toro be mi toro gari mi toro fura lowo e me de yawo nbe o wa ni lota yi o yoruba lokan The Chief John Odige Oyegun led presidential screening panel has disqualified 10 of the 23 aspirants jostling for the ticket of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. Odige Oyegun made this known when he submitted the report of his seven-member panel to the national chairman of the party, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, at the party's national secretariat this Friday. A high court of the Federal Capital Territory in Wuse this Friday remanded Peter Nwachiku, husband of late gospel singer Osinachi, at the Kujé Correctional Facility, pending the hearing and determination of the homicide-related suit instituted against him by the Attorney General of the Federation. Justice N.K. Wosu Iheme gave the order after he pleaded not guilty to 23 counts bordering on domestic violence and homicide, among others. The judge ordered that the suspect be remanded at the correctional facility while trial was adjourned to June 16 from 12 p.m. and June 17 by 9 a.m. Mwachuku's wife died on April 8 and many of her colleagues had accused her husband of subjecting the disease to domestic violence, leading to her death. The government claimed that he contravened sections 104 and 379 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015, section 211 of the Penal Code and the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015. And now sports. There was a time in the world of athletics when Nigerian athletes rubbed shoulders with other athletes of the world, showing great skills and raw talents. This was a source of great pride to the nation. The athletes were mainly products from school sports competitions, a great avenue for discovering talents in the 70s and 80s. However, in recent times, school athletics in Nigeria appear to be on the verge of near extinction due to lack of adequate attention and funding. 
Not to worry, as a silver lining is already on the card. KIO Consult, a sports and legal consulting firm, is set to change the narrative and bring back the lost glory of athletics in Nigeria. KIO Consult is organizing its maiden edition of athletics competition for secondary schools in Abuja, tagged Abuja into Secondary Schools Athletics Championship. It is set to hold on Saturday, June 4, at the Mashud Abiola Stadium, Abuja. Ahead of the competition, the principal consultant, KIO Consult, Kessiena Igo Ogore, says a total of 700 students drawn from 14 schools in the FCT are expected to compete in various track and field events. I used to be um, an athlete when I was in university, so coming back to Nigeria and seeing the, the fact that um, there was no major school competitions between secondary schools in, in Abuja. And if you look at um, track and field or sports in general, the, the bedrock of sport development is school sports. So for me, that was the way to go. Then secondly as well, if you look at um, the issue of um, so many social vices among young persons, so for me, um, sports or athletics was one of the sports that could that could um, keep them engaged to at least deter them from engaging in social vices and also very important to discover talents like it was in the 80s and 90s where we had so many um, great athletes across the world the principal consultant is confident that the competition will give a new sense of hope and change the fortunes of athletics in nigeria We have the backing of the Ministry of Meat and Sport Development. We also have the backing of the AFN, that's the Athletic Venture of Nigeria, the body that governs track and field in Nigeria. We have our sponsors, um, Alpha Morgan, Grooming and Diamond Trust, Milo, Seaway, and among, among others. The benefits are numerous, but for want of time, um, obviously, you know, when you come around with, I meet different schools. Like when I was in school, there's some of my friends I met because I competed. From, from my school so we met so there's this making of friends from across school lines then also we have um, medals we have um, um, certificates as well so that, that could, they could use that to add to their to their records and probably help them to get scholarships and other benefits post um, post secondary school the long-term goal is to make it an annual um, thing and possibly move to other, other states of um, the country and make it a national national thing the one-day competition is expected to feature 100, 200 and 400 meters race and 4 by 400 meters relay and mixed relay races. The field events are long jump and javelin.